My name is Erin Bradley. I'm a teacher at Brian Evan Primary School. This is a school in Johannesburg, South Africa. We use Purple Mash to teach children coding. We've been doing this for over two years. And in this lesson, I'm teaching a young group of learners who are about from eight years old till about 10 or 11 how to set out their code. And we use two logo in Purple Mash to do this. I hope you enjoy the video. So welcome to today's coding lesson. You can learn a lot about procedures and how to put your procedures and make interesting artwork using your procedures. You go to two logo. So once you're in two logo, this is what it looks like. And you can see here, you can move this around. You can draw with it very much like you can do in scratch. So if I go like this, start with my pen over here, forward. And I'm going to turn on the grid. The grid is going to help me to measure the distances I will travel. So if I click on the grid, I'm going to start over there. Look there, Google. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up to about 15 should get me about there. So if I go forward, 15, look where it's going to go. And I press enter. Look, it's going all the way to there. I can click on the code and may reactivate forward 15. But now I want it to turn and come back down here. So that's a left turn. It's going to turn the left hand side's this side. Left turn, 125. So I'm going to go 125. I'm going to replay my code. I'm going to replay my code. Forward, left turn, 125. Forward, and I'm going to take it to about 10 over there. Forward, left turn, 10. It stops there. Now I'm going to turn left, and I'm going to turn left at about 90 degrees. Left turn, 90. Turn, and it's going to left turn, 90. Forward to about here. That should be about another 10. So forward, 10. I'm making a piece of artwork. I'm just going to speed my code up so it goes faster. Look over here. Look where it is now. So that's pretty good. Now I'm going to turn left. So I'm going to turn left at the end. I'm adding bits of code. Left turn. 90 again. And I'm going to make it go forward. 7 or 8. Let's make that 8. So start again. Play it. Look where it's going, Google. Over there. Now I'm going to make it turn left. And I'll go with about 120. Left turn. 120. Because I want it to get over here. And we'll go forward 10. Forward 10. So it's going to go there, restart, play. Now I'm going to make it go down here. Left turn again, because remember this is the left hand side. Left turn, 25. Let's see how that plays up. Forward, 3. Or f let's make it 5. Then I'm going to make it go left turn, 90. Left turn, 90. Forward, up to here, which is about 8. Forward, 8. And then I'm going to stop. So it goes like that. If I go to the start, all of this code goes like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it that it changes color. So I'm going to bring in all of this code. I'm going to copy it by triple clicking. I can also press Control A. And it selects everything. Right click, copy. And over here I'm going to make a procedure. Procedure. And I'm going to call it artwork. Right click, paste over there. Set pen color black. So there we go. Set pen color black. So it'll look like this. Remember, triple click or control A, press artwork, and look, I play it quickly, it does that. But I, I don't want it to stop, I want it to carry on doing artwork. If I go like this, RPT 1000 times, I want it to do to play artwork. So it's going to play this bit of code called artwork. A thousand times. I'm not sure if it'll make sense, but we'll play it now. Look at that. It's doing a thousand of them, but they're going over the same lines. So I need to bring in some movement. So it's going to move to a different place. To bring in a movement bit of code, I'm going to go like this. Pen up, lifting up my pen, forward. And we'll make it two, left turn, ten. I'm going to make it then pen down. So it'll go like that. So I'm going to call this control. Remember, triple click, one, two, three, control C, or right click, copy. And now I'm going to call this the move code. Now I'm going to right click, 
paste it. I'm going to go bring in my artwork and move code. So I'm going to go take this away. I'm going to go move artwork. And then I'm going to repeat it a thousand times. One thousand times. You can try and make yours do a million times. I wonder if it'll work. Play. Now watch how fast it's going. It's making a beautiful art piece. Illyria will love this. They will all say, wow, that's so nice. Look at the amazing lines that it's making, one on top of the other, but I don't have much color. If I want to bring in color, I go like this. I can open my artwork here. I can go left turn, and over here I'm going to go set, pen color, red. Just because Google's favorite color is red. Set, pen color, blue. Set, pen color, black. Set, pen color, yellow. So I'm bringing in color so it'll be beautiful. Set, pink color, purple. And we'll see how it looks. There we go. We're going to play artwork and we play it. There we go. It's going with all different colors now. So it does look a little bit better than it looked before. How does that look? Isn't it beautiful that it's going yellow and it's got red? All the red seem to be on the outer areas. The blue seem to be focused in the inner areas with a little bit of black penetrating. And I can see purple, so purple does feed. It's getting more and more lines and looking a lot more full. We would like it to develop. I don't know if it's going over the previous lines because that wouldn't be such a good thing. If it is doing that, I need to bring in some other changes. I think it's doing that. So I'm going to bring in some more changes to this artwork. So I'm going to go over here, right click, right turn, 45, forward, 1. And I'll bring that in, and then I can go, if I go like that, it's still looking the same, but it'll have, it should have variation that it's not going over the same line, endlessly going over the same line. Look how it's filling up. It's starting to fill up with lots of lines. Hopefully it'll produce a very beautiful piece of work that you would appreciate because you'd, you're getting the computer code to produce artwork for you, which is rather exciting. Computers are doing a lot of things that are really quite amazing. And if you look at this, you can see that in the code, the unexpected pattern just comes about. I never knew that it was going to look like this. I just put in little bits of code called artwork, a little bit of a move, change some color. Here, all behold, in front of me is quite an amazing piece of art. And when I look at it, I even think, wow, it's quite beautiful. So, boys and girls, I do want you to try do this, work in Purple Mash, make procedures, see what you can produce. And maybe you'll make something that will be truly amazing. We'd say, that's the most outstanding and beautiful piece of artwork. That would be wonderful to see. It seems to be going over the same lines again. Don't forget to bring in some changes, change the colors. And bring in other things so I could go uh, left turn let's go 67 forward three two set pen color pen color to orange I haven't tried with orange it bring in a little bit more variety to my work so if I bring in the artwork and I play it there we go it's again producing a something more a little bit different to the last one we don't quite know what it's going to look like. I should switch off this so it looks better because you can see with a blank background, it does start filling up and looks more like an artwork and less so like a gridded piece of work. I would like you to go forward with this. Try and see what you can come up with. That there's a pattern that we often find that we didn't know existed. You can find that the movements of this lines, just jumping around with the movement, are producing a pattern and mathematics is largely a pattern and that pattern exists in all things of nature you will notice that plants flowers I want you guys to go and explore with two logo what you can do as well thanks guys I'm going to now end this video in the line of artwork good luck with it and I look forward to coming around and seeing what you guys are doing a big thank you to everybody for watching this we urge you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're trying to build it up. At the moment, we are about 165 people. 
and we're hoping to make it grow a lot more. And a big thank you to the learners who participated in this lesson. They did struggle somewhat, though had an exciting experience. Thank you.